Hey there, Arbor Church. This is Mike from Celebrate Recovery. And I'd like to share with you a little bit today about anxiety. I don't know if any of you have been experiencing anxiety over the last six weeks or so. I certainly have. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I go to Celebrate Recovery is because I struggle with anxiety and depression. You know, as a believer, I believe the Word of God. And I know that Jesus said that I shouldn't worry um, about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry for itself and Paul tells us in Philippians well I'll read it to you Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to God so there Paul's telling us that we don't have to be anxious all we need to do is take our cares to God in prayer and thanksgiving and that's great and we know this and I know this and I do take things to God in prayer but the weight of this world is sometimes overbearing and in these days especially when we don't know what's coming next we've never experienced anything like this before and we're locked in close quarters with people that we love but you know um, anyone can get on your nerves after a while. And so <clears throat> I'd like to share a little story with you from Daniel. Most of us are familiar with uh, Daniel uh, praying three times a day and, and uh, being delivered out of the lion's den. But there was this incident in Daniel chapter 10 that uh, I'd like to bring to your attention. Now Daniel at this point had been fasting and praying seeking the Lord for answers for three weeks. He was doing this for three weeks, and he got nothing. There were no responses. But he kept at it. He kept praying, and he was fasting. And then, after three weeks, an angel came to him. And I'm going to pick it up there. And the angel said to me, this is Daniel chapter 10, verse 12. The angel said to me, Do not fear, Daniel. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me twenty-one days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. I believe this gives us a unique glimpse into the spiritual realm, things we don't see. We know in our hearts that prayer is effective because the Bible tells us so and because we have had prayers answered. But there, do we ever think about that there's a battle going on because of our prayers? And here, from the first day that Daniel prayed, his prayer was heard, but the forces were battling and the angels were trying to get to him, to comfort him. But they were held up by the, by the lesser angels. And there was a great battle over him. I just want to let you know there's a great battle over us. And in the realm that we can't see with our eyes, the angels are fighting for us. Our petitions are heard and they're made known. But the angels are fighting. So I would encourage you to hold on, hold fast, don't give up, it will be all right. We've got mighty angels battling for us. So hang in there, God bless you, and take care.